Bonjour, everyone. Welcome to the Keyside Brighton preview, eh? There it is. Tain Bridge in the background, Million Bridge. Just a bit see there, can't you? There it is, look. There you go. There it is. That's the best you're getting because I'm not. I'm scared of hates, man. Tell you this before. But I. I've got Flazol's up for the weekend. For the week, so. Nice little Keyside apartment. Uh, not going to bring this weekend. Miles away. We watched it at, uh, on TV, Hall 5, for the second successive Saturday in a row, we moved to Hall 5 for BT Sport, obviously in the hope of uh, seeing a relegation battle, which we're getting on one part on, the Brighton obviously scrapping and fighting for their lives, whereas Newcastle can now relax a little bit, take the uh, take the pressure off, obviously already reached that magic 40 point mark, so we're safe now, and... We can just go out and enjoy it, really, less pressure. I just like it again, so I haven't really after the first 10 minutes where the players can just express themselves. Unfortunately, after the back of the Southampton game, we had Almiron injured and he's been confirmed to miss the rest of the season, so that's a shame. I was certain he was going to get that goal against Fulham. Santiago Munez going to break his duck. That free kick against Liverpool, but not meant to be. Hopefully he comes back uh, stronger and better next season, gets off the mark then. But the way he's changed it with the team playing, turning Perez into Messi and... Rondon into Shira, it's, uh, it's worked out well, and it's been a great signing. There's now who's put it in instead, that's obviously the big thing going into this game. I mean, I reckon it'll be Christian Atsu. Benitez was saying before we bought Almiron that it was hard to leave Atsu out of the team. He said he was playing really well. Obviously, he's always uh, got the work rate, it's just to finish and touch from Atsu, and it's just that final ball, that, that final touch, that shot that lets him down. But I think he scored a great free kick against Brighton, was it in the Championship? So, maybe a good omen that I think he'll be the one that comes in. The other option could be to start Yoshino Rumuto, who's obviously played with two months of football since signing for the tune last summer. Uh, he had that. He was away in January, wasn't he, for the Asia Cup? But he's been back since February now, a few months, and kind of get a sniff, kind of get off the bench. He uh, obviously scored at Old Trafford as his highlight. Or Kennedy, the forgotten man, the Space Jam, sucked his soul out of him. Don't know who he is now. Ever since that Cardiff game, he's been piss poor. Uh, obviously, great last season. Chelsea today now saying that they're on 30 million for him. <laughs> Mental. You wouldn't get fucking 3 million for him off me. Like, absolute dog shit this season. And you're sure what he, what he can do. Like, he's done it last year, but like, say, gotta do week in, week out. He hasn't done a fucking one week out of 35 this year, so piss off. Richie, move Richie further forward. Even though he's done well in that wing back role, he could bring in Baraka. Another forgotten man here. Fuck me, all these Doom players taking an episode of Lost. Season of Lost here on Tyneside on the key side. But you could bring in Braga, you could bring put Dummett there and maybe bring in another centre back. Um, Shaw, good news that he's he's looking fit. He trained on Wednesday as well did Isaac Hayden, so hopefully they're ready for it come Saturday. So I think Shaw will be a big miss. Uh, so there's a few options there. We need nice to see, see what team gets put out. I think it will be a tricky game. We've got a shite record at the AMX. Apart from obviously the uh, the two one win there in the championship, little ding from Diarmi, uh, that, that goalie definitely definitely meant a little flick of the heel that went in, that you know sealed our promotion push. Really wanted that was a huge win for us then. I think we got beat one 0 last year. I think it'll be close again this year. I think it's very tricky in the fact that obviously we've got now to play for now. We're just playing for see how high we can finish. We've got a couple of players missing potentially, so. And Brighton are scrapping, absolutely scrapping. They haven't scored a single goal though in the last seven games. Mental. They lost to a late goal against Spurs. You that will kill them. That will that'll be a huge blow to them. Uh, obviously, they got a good point away at Wolves before that last weekend. So it's going to be a tricky game. I think they could be off. I think Hutton will obviously know how to play, how to get the points. I could see another you know, scrappy game. Like I'm, I'm going to be optimistic and see a one 0 Newcastle. But I could definitely see a, a one one or, or a, a sneaky Brighton win as well. And, you know, we all like Chris Eaton up here, don't we? He did a tremendous job for us, so he's the only reason I really want Brighton to stay up. But uh, I still want to get that win on the weekend. Like, bollocks them, I want to finish as high as possible. Alright, uh, that'll do, because me fucking hand shaking. Yeah, I'm not getting old this. I'm hung over the fuck. By the way, check out One City, One Club United on Instagram. Cheers to the t shirt. I posted that on our page the day. Uh, my, my channel, Caps and Al. So my thing. You know, son's trying to get out there. Oh, looking at Ari. Uh, lovely last bank holiday weekend, so get them for your holidays away and whatnot. You know, Benidorm and that like us next month. But I, uh, that'll do for this little preview. Cheers for watching, everyone. Drop in the comments below what team you'd like to see play in your score prediction and enjoy yourself.